Congrats on the movie. Thank you. I don't think my... I don't think I've quite come down the from the, the adrenaline. The adrenaline I know, yeah. yeah. People yeah. are coming away with like an emotional hangover the next day going, oh, yeah. that was intense. Yeah, also I'm asthmatic, so it's... Oh it's God, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, it's fine. I have to ask you about this car, the Fiat 500, the little yellow car. Um, tell me about the experience of being in that car and driving it, because you get to drive some other cars, but that very distinctive, and we've seen set photos over the couple of years since you've been shooting it. What was that experience like? Because it looked like a hell of a lot. It was... So dangerous, that car. We, Tom and I nicknamed it Trixie very early on because it actually had a mind of its own. It was really hard to control. It went very fast, but it just, any slight change that you made, it would just, it would spin out really quickly, which is why there are a few moments in the film, like when he turns on the windscreen wipers by accident rather than the engine. Like that's all improvised. But also when we go off for the first time and he crashes the car immediately instead of driving off, that was improvised and that's kept in the film so we it, Trixie quickly established herself as the antagonist but also a character in her own right that's probably going to have a spin-off show after this she was very intimidating <laughs> quite the diva yeah. but gave us so much fun to play off and that's why you know you see us handcuffed to each other it's all about creating these obstacles that force these two people who are exasperated by each other to have to be working together at the same time yeah, and it's all real as well. I mean, some of those, some of those sequences you did it in another film. Not to criticise any other film, but you'd maybe do CGI and stuff like that. But being do, you're doing it with McHugh and Tom, it's yeah. like you're going to be in that car. You're going to be doing all this, this stuff. It's real. Yeah, I trained for five months before we began filming, and some of the training was well, quite a lot of it was drifting with Wade Eastwood. We went to Dunsfold and we went to various other race tracks in the country to get to get the seat time in, so that I was very comfortable. My nervous system didn't over, you know, become overwhelmed. I mean, the first few times that I got into a car with Wade and he showed me what, what the level I needed to get up to in terms of drifting and donuts, I, I felt sick. I went home and just went, I, I was like spinning out. It's like Tracy Letts in Le Mans 66 when he goes, I, I had no idea when he gets out of the car. That's my first experience of it. So after five months, I'd gotten up to a level where I, I was used to it. I really liked it. And they were like, okay, we're never going to put you in a situation where you can't, you, you are unsafe or that this is not realistic for you to achieve. So a lot of what you see in Rome was based on the trust that I developed with Tom and McHugh and Wade of being able to know I could deliver those things. And they're working so hard and drilling and having that discipline to make sure that they're doing, doing it competently again and again and again, that you, it's very easy to fall into the, that slipstream too of going, we're all working on this together with a shared common goal of basically trying to overcome Trixie. Yeah. <laughs> I know uh, back in, I think it was Rogue Nation or, or the one in between of uh, Tom playing practical jokes in the car with Simon Pegg. <laughs> did he get did he get you with with any in in Trixie or any of the other cars? Oh my gosh, she was the what she was bringing her own that car. <laughs> it was more like Tom going, sorry, <laughs> I'm going, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> It was, uh, there, there was a, there's a great moment that I don't think, it, it, it's not in the film, but it kind of gives you an idea of the playfulness we were trying to find, which was when she's in the BMW and she's getting away from him at the beginning of the sequence and he's in a motorbike, she, he loses her for a second, but all he has to do is stop and hear in the distance all the car alarms that she set off down all these cobble streets. And she, he's like, she's telling me exactly where she is. It's like Hansel and Gretel. But um, yeah, there was, you have to have that element of kind of levity and fun, which can only come when you're feeling really relaxed and that you've also, you're, you're safe because you know what this process is. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations yeah. on the film. Thank you. you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey. hey.